Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In this video, we have brought a very interesting question. The question is, there is a square A, B, C, D and there is an equilateral triangle C, D and a circle which passes through the vertex of equilateral triangle and two base points base vertex of a square. So basically this circle passes through three points A, B and E, two of which are points of square and one is the vertex of triangle, the equilateral triangle. And we have to calculate the radius of the circle. O is the center and we have to calculate the radius. Let's see how we can solve this. First of all, we will draw a perpendicular from O to this side of the square. And uh, I have drawn this line and this passes through the vertex and why it will pass through the vertex, let's see. We have drawn a perpendicular from O to this side of square, which is A, B, C, and D. So if O, let's name this M, OM is perpendicular to AB, it will bisect this A and B. So both the lines are 2.5. We have drawn perpendicular. Similarly, this is also a perpendicular because these lines are parallel. So it will be bisector of this line CD. And as this line CD is line of equilateral triangle and we have drawn the perpendicular, it will pass through the vertex E. So now we have proved that this line will pass through uh, vertex E of equilateral triangle CDE. Now let's calculate the radius. That is the important part. If I see this line, uh, let's name this N. If I see this line EN, this is equal to EOMMN, that, that is a diameter. We can also say this is a chord, diameter longest chord. So there are two chords intersecting at point M. Now there is a property in a circle that if two chords are drawn, then the product of two parts, AP into PB is equals to PC into PD. Remember this property always. In a circle, if there are two chords intersecting at point P, then product of AP and PB is equals to PC and PD. Let's see, let's apply this property here in this case, in this circle. The two chords we are taking here are EN and AB, and they are intersecting at point M. And if they are intersecting at point M, we can write AM into BM is equals to EM into M and the four parts. AM is half of AB, 2.5, because it is perpendicular, so it will bisect 2.5 into 2.5. Now, what is EM? Now, first of all, we have to calculate what is the length of EM. Let's say this point is point P. So EP is height of this equilateral triangle. In triangle CDE, PE is height, perpendicular height, perpendicular distance. So its length is always, you should remember that height of equilateral triangle is given by a under root 3 by 2. We can also calculate this by Pythagoras theorem. We know that this is 5 and this is 2.5. Applying using this two, we can find out the value of P. So the value of P is A root 3 by 2, that is 5 root 3 by 2. Now we have the value of P. 5 under root 3 by 2 is the length of P. The length of PM is 5. And the reason is 
this is a perpendicular line abcd is a square so this parallel to ad and equal to ad this forms a rectangle ad em is a rectangle so this length is 5 em is equals to p plus em and let's say mn is x this length is x now let's put the value here 2.5 into 2.5 can be written as 5 by 2 5 by 2 the value of p we have just calculated 5 root 3 by 2 and the value of pm is 5 we have to calculate x this is 25 by 4 lcm is 2 5 root 3 plus 10 into x take 5 common so this will be root 3 plus 2 upon 2 into x this is cancelled out this is also cancelled out so this is 5 by 2 we have to calculate x x will be 5 by 2 and root 3 by 2 will be in denominator multiply this by root 3 minus 2 and root 3 minus 2 multiply and divide we know this is known as rationalizing the denominator so this is 5 2 minus root 3 this is 2 root 2 2 square minus root 3 square 2 square root 3 square is 4 minus 3 is 1 so finally we are getting 5 2 minus root 3 upon 2 this is the length of x if we multiply this 5 2 is a 10 by 2 minus 5 root 3 by 2 so the value comes out to be 5 minus 5 root 3 this is 5 root 3 by 2 sorry so the value of x is 5 minus 5 root 3 by 2 5 minus 5 root 3 by 2 should be something like this. En is a diameter. So let's calculate the length of En. The length of En will be equal to P plus PM plus MN. P is 5 root 3 by 2. PM is 5 and MN is X which is 5 minus 5 root 3 by 2. This will be cancelled out. 5 plus 5 is 10. And EN is diameter. So diameter is 10 centimeter. Radius will be half of this which will be 5 centimeter. So the value of radius of the circle will be 10 by 2 that is 5 centimeter so this length is also 5 hey friends you like this video please like our videos and subscribe to our channel